So Tumblr, who here is on Tumblr? Got one. Okay, okay, we have about four. So Tumblr is much is a much newer platform. Um, it is growing like this is what their traffic graph looks like. It is especially great for visual content. It is especially great for reaching young people. It lets you share things really quickly. This is great for the very short attention span type of content. You can post text, photos, quotes, links, music, videos, but it's usually just the video or just the quote. It's not a long blog, blog post with 500 words talking on and on about something. It's just the content, um, and so it makes it very easy for you to post it. It makes it very easy for someone else to consume it. And the great thing is that for e you, you pick what the thing is you're posting before you post it, and Tumblr puts it in it. Each is formatted individually for that type of content. So each video looks really good. Each quote is blown up and bold and looks really graphic and interesting. And basically, it's another way you don't need to know how to code, and you can create a beautiful website, and you can share a lot of information. So you can customize almost everything, from the colors to the fonts to the, to the lines. There's also a range of both paid and free templates that, that um, offer you a lot of different options. Um, so it probably is the most beautiful looking blog you can imagine. Similar to Twitter and Facebook, you can follow other people's blogs, and when you go to your dashboard on Tumblr, you see in chronological order, here's all the things the people I'm, I'm following have posted here. But also, you, people don't even need to be on Tumblr to find content. So if your users don't use Tumblr, they can still access your website and see everything you've posted. There are 69.4 million blogs hosted by Tumblr and about 30 million blog posts on them and over 16 billion monthly page views. It is very addictive. It's very user friendly. It's one of the easiest to use platforms out there. It's great at showing off your business personality. And it's a great hosting platform, even in, in many cases, for a primary website. For, and great for a business that can't hire a designer or a developer. You can also engage with your customers in a great way using the Tumblr Ask function. So people can post a question or a comment to you, and you will get those every, uh, you know, as they come in. And when you respond to them, they're publicly posted on your website so that you can respond in a public forum, or maybe you're answering that same question that a lot of people have in public. You can also encourage people to contribute to your Tumblr blog through the submit function. So other people can post an image or a piece of text, and if it's up to your standards, you can put it on your blog as well to help to encourage a community. So it's not just a broadcast communication. When you post something on Tumblr, you get to see the reaction as it comes. So people will either like something with a little heart button, or they will reblog it on their own Tumblr post. And that's how content can really go viral. I'm sure a lot of you have heard that term. Um, so if you have a great photo or something along those lines, one person can discover it, and they reblog it, and they put it on their blog. And then another person does, and they reblog it, and it has this exponential effect of possibly reaching really tons and tons of people, especially the better your content is. The other thing you do is when you post something, you add tags, which are like hashtags like you saw on Twitter, saying, this is what this is about. Except since you have no limit to how many tags you add, you can add a whole bunch of them to describe exactly what's there, and people searching for those tags will find them. So for example, we have the nycgov.tumblr.com Tumblr, and we regularly search for all the names of the five boroughs to see what photos people are posting. And when we find a beautiful photo, we'll repost it. So if you, create, if you, wherever your business is, post a great photo of your small business, we could find it and end up reblogging it, because we think it's a great way to show off uh, New York City through the eyes of New Yorkers. Here are some examples of how you could use the different formats, the media formats on Tumblr for your business. So text. You could explain rules for an upcoming contest, or you could make an announcement. Photo, you could have a product image, a photo of your team, a picture of a celebrity wearing or using your product that also always does very well on Tumblr. A dish at your restaurant, people love food on Tumblr and it's a whole vertical that people follow very closely. Um, food and fashion are especially large on Tumblr. A quote, so a one-liner that your fans just need to hear, maybe something that a customer said who was recently visiting your business. A link, something on the web, that is relevant to your business. Ideally, something linking to your menu, a new piece of information or content on your website. Chat, a funny exchange or an interesting exchange with a customer that you might want to share. An audio, a song that you feel like really encapsulates your business or reflects the mood of your company. And then a video, especially if you're posting video or you're taking photos of your business. So here are some examples of free themes that are really fantastic. But if you go to Tumblr and you set up the page, you'll be able to check those out too. 
I'm not going to go through these here, but you're welcome to check them out at your, at your leisure. And then again, best practices for Tumblr. Pick an area of interest that your customer or your consumer would enjoy. And keep in mind that it's particularly po popular among young internet users under the age of 34 years. Tag all of your content as specifically as possible. That's how you tell the world, hey, I'm here, and this is what I'm talking about. It's a very visual medium, so images do so much better and perform extremely well. If you're a small business serving an older demographic, 50 plus, solely in your area, Tumblr might not be the right fit for you, and it might make more sense instead to be focusing on Facebook, for example. Gust Organics, an organic restaurant, blogs on Tumblr about things that the owner thinks his customers would find interesting, corporate responsibility, um, social responsibility, things along those lines.